Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I've had many YouTube requests on how to make quiche Lorraine. I've got a simple and easy way to do it and I wanna show you how. You're first gonna start off with a nine inch pie crust. This is unbaked. If you don't know how to make pie crust, I show you how in my YouTube food video on how to make the perfect homemade pie crust. And I've added the link below. You're going to need six ounces of your shredded Swiss cheese. This is a cup and a half. You can buy it already shredded or you may go ahead and shred it by hand. Eight slices of crispy fried bacon that we're gonna crumble up later on. Three eggs at room temperature. One fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, one half cup of chopped onions, one and a half cups of evaporated milk, or if you'd like to use half and half, you may do that too. So let's first start sauteing our onions. In a two quart saucepan over medium heat, I'm adding about two teaspoons of olive oil. If you wanna add your bacon grease to saute your onions in, you may. I'm adding my onions, I'm gonna saute this for about four minutes. Make sure you keep an eye on it because you don't want it burning. While the onions are sauteing, I'm quickly adding our shredded Swiss cheese to the bottom of our unbaked pie crust. And you're gonna put it all in there. Put this off to the side. Give your onions a quick little stirring. With a chef's knife, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut down our six slices of crispy bacon. And looking like this, add your crumbled bacon to your sauteed onions. I've measured the bacon and it's about three fourths of a cup. You can use a half a cup if you wish, or you may use more. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Add this to the top of that shredded Swiss cheese until we have an even layer on the top. Oh my, and this things just smell so good. And of course, anything with bacon is absolutely Fantastic. That looks perfect. And you want to set this off to the side. I'm adding my three large eggs right here into a large measuring cup. Add your salt and pepper. Give it a lovely little whisking. Until your eggs are looking like this. Add that evaporated milk. Or if you'd like to use half and half, you may do that too. And we're going to whisk this until these four ingredients are well blended. Slowly pour the egg mixture on the top of that Swiss cheese and the bacon and onion. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. And by the way, at this time, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because this is going to bake on the middle rack for the next 30 to 40 minutes. Use your timer and no peaking. Just took my quiche Lorraine out of the oven and look how fantastic that is. Yum. Now to make sure it's completely baked, I'm using a toothpick. I'm gonna go in the center. I'm gonna pull it out. If there's any egg or anything left on that toothpick, we'd have to put it back in the oven for about five more minutes. But this is perfect, and we're gonna let it cool for the next five minutes. It smells so delicious. Here we've got a slice of that quiche Lorraine that we're going to try. And you can see the bacon and the Swiss cheese, and it baked just absolutely lovely. I'm gonna give it a try. It's like a custard pie, ooh, and look at that Swiss cheese. I've let it cool for about 20 minutes. We gotta give it a try. Wow, mmm. The texture is like a custard. That Swiss cheese, the bacon, the onions, it's absolutely fantastic, y'all. If you want a quiche Lorraine recipe for your collection, this is the one to add. We've been digging into it. It's delicious. Perfect with lunch, dinner, serve with a salad with a light vinaigrette, or serve with your favorite fruit. Blueberries and watermelon is my favorite with this quiche Lorraine. Oh, and that crust, perfect every time. Give me thumbs up, leave me a comment, follow me here on YouTube or Instagram. Thanks a million for watching you all, and I'll catch you lovely people later.